thank you to my Patreon supporters. A double shout out thank you to Xavier Zamora, Velimir Brockovich, We Love SafeMoon.com, Morad Shaker, Victor Vegas, and SafeMoon Oz for being higher level patrons. You can join that for as little as $1 a month. There is a link down in the description below. Also, thank you to my YouTube members. You can click the join button below this video if you'd like to show your support there. Please keep in mind that I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Everything I'm sharing is my own opinion. It is my own research. I highly encourage you to go do your own research. With that being said, let's go ahead and dive on into the news. And this has to do with Mandala. There is an update, a subtle update here going on in regards to SafeMoon. So they said over in their Discord, because uh, Bullet for my Valentine and First made a statement saying early to mid-April ends next week. Hope we'll have an announcement. So, and then it just kind of trails off here. But the big point is that a lot of people are looking at it saying, hmm, today is April 10th as of the time of me making this video at least. So you would say, hey, before Mandala was talking about whole Safe Moon thing and that being by the middle of April. Well, if you have 30 days in a month, then the 15th would be considered the middle. However, as is noted here by B2B from MDX, he goes on to say mid-April could be interpreted as one week on either side of the middle of April, and that was a tentative date pending more information. Our latest announcement has more information and references April as a whole for the timeline. We appreciate your understanding as we work through the intricacies of global tokenomics and implement internal reflections as a stopgap until we can give everyone the full polished product that they deserve. So what does this necessarily mean? What it means is that the whole idea of, of the middle of April, that was just a goal that they had. It was not an established date. And on top of it now with their latest announcement, it's talking about the whole of April. So get rid of the idea that even in the middle of April, that that's what they're gonna be having this come out with. Their goal now, their goal again, is to have it by the end of this month. And what has been noted previously, in case you did miss that announcement, is that this will start with local tokenomics, and then they will roll out global tokenomics once they have found a proper solution. Their intention was to launch this back in the month of February. And upon the, the basically the moment of when they were getting ready to launch, they noticed some issues that would actually cause uh, in the system. So they couldn't launch it with global tokenomics. It took them about two months until they came to the realization, I guess, uh, or the final decision that they can go ahead and just roll out local token, sorry, local tokenomics, similar to what we see with BitMart, while they keep trying to find a solution to this problem with global tokenomics. And also to just further elaborate on this, in case you guys are not aware, the global tokenomics is a it's an exchange by exchange basis. What does that mean? It means that the SafeMoon team have built out functionality on their part. And the quote is half baked. That's what we've had uh, for phrasing here. So SafeMoon's team, they've got their half basically done, but because every exchange has their own set of dynamics to have that communicate with the other half, everyone has to design something themselves. So hopefully when Mandala gets their stuff figured out, that'll at least help answer a lot of questions so that if another exchange wants to be able to list this, they already have an idea of what specific things they need to target and how they can try and address solutions themselves. So I think there is still a benefit regardless with Mandala listing the global tokenomics moving forward for other exchanges to pull that in as well. But it we have to wait to see for that for sure. So as it is, guys, just mentally, if I was you, I would go into this and say, hey, SafeMoon, there's a good chance that it's going to get listed by April 30th, right? And if it doesn't get listed, it's because there's other delays. We still have the card to look forward to. We have these other things. It is what it is. But also think of it like this. There are a lot of other exchanges out there we might end up finding out from out of nowhere that SafeMoon does get listed on another exchange. Right now, the attention is on Mandala, but there's a lot of other exchanges that, for all we know, we could hear about them tomorrow or today. I don't know, right? So we have to wait and see more information on that. 
Now, outside of this, I do have a little bit of news for you guys. So Hayden and uh, Jonas. Yeah, I think Jonas is the other name. Uh, so they said that they are on their way back to the SafeMoon headquarters. They just got the wrap up here for the Bitcoin 2022 conference over in Miami. They said, we learned a lot at Bitcoin 2022 and made some great connections. That's really good news. Remember, think of that. The connections that they made, that's stuff that can benefit SafeMoon. They said, we're already planning for 2023. Perhaps we get a booth this time around. Hmm, that'd be pretty cool. I'd like to see that happen for sure. Uh, especially if you get like the SafeMoon Exchange up, you get the SafeMoon Connect up, you got the card out, all that other stuff. You get a booth. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of attention, a lot of people coming over wanting to talk. Imagine if Kevin O'Leary walks up. It's like, I'd like to talk to you guys. And it's like, we know who you are. It's like, and I know who you are. <laughs> I could just imagine that. Anyways, let me know what you guys think of this information. Tell us in the comments down below. I do have to refer I do have referral links if you want to get free crypto, free stock, you want to protect your crypto, check those out. Again, I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. I've got giveaways going on a lot. So if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, you can be able to stay up to date with that. I'm at Crypto Atlas YT, as if it was YouTube. And I have videos of other partnerships lately where you can go in and find out more information on those giveaways also. And that's it. So if you're new, don't forget to hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up, like button, click the bell icon. God bless, and I will see you in the next episode.